Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x plus y, this is equal to 100, let's call this equation 1, and we have that x times y, this is equal to 1000, let's call this equation 2. What is the value of x and what is the value of y, given that x is not equal to 0 and that y is not equal to 0? So let's prevent a solution from here. Now, from equation 1, which is x plus y, this is equal to 100, let's make x to be the subject of the formula, so that now x is equal to 100 subtract y. Let's call this equation 3. Now, let's substitute equation 3 into equation 2, which is x times y, this is equal to 1000. So let's substitute the value of x here, which is 100 minus y times y. This is equal to 1,000. Now we have 100 times y. This is 100y minus y times y here. This is y squared. Then this is equal to 1,000. The next step is to take 1,000 on the left-hand side. So that now we have 100y minus y squared minus 1,000. This is equal to 0. Now let's rearrange this equation so that we have minus y squared then plus 100y minus 1,000. This is equal to 0. The next step is to divide both signs by minus 1. So minus y squared divided by minus 1. This is the same thing as y squared. Then plus 100y divided by minus 1. This becomes minus 100y. Then minus 1000 divided by minus 1. This becomes plus 1000. This is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation of the form ay squared plus by plus c. This is equal to zero. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to one, we have that b is equal to minus 100, and we have that c is equal to 1000. The next step is that to solve for y1 comma y2, we apply the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c, Everything here divided by 2 times a. So substituting the values of a, b, and c, then we have minus into the parentheses minus 100. Then we have plus or minus the square root of minus 100 raised to the power of 2. Then subtract 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 1000. Then everything here divided by 2 times 1. Now this implies that here we have minus times minus 100. This is equal to 100 plus or minus the square root of minus 100 squared. This is 10,000. Then subtract. We have minus 4 times 1,000. This is minus 4,000. Then everything here divided by 2. Now, here we have 100 plus or minus the square root of 10,000 minus 4,000. This is equal to 6,000. Then everything here divided by 2. So this implies again here we have 100 plus or minus. Now, the square root of 6,000, this can be expressed as 16 multiplied by 25 multiplying by 15 then everything here divided by 2 so that now here we have 100 plus or minus the square root of 16 this is 4 the square root of 25 this is equal to 5 then we have square root of 15 everything here divided by 2
So we can simplify here. This is the same thing as 100 over 2 plus or minus. Now here we have 4 times 5 square root of 15 divided by 2. Now let's simplify here. 100 divided by 2, this is 50. Then we have, we can simplify here by 2, 1, 4 divided by 2, this is 2. So that now we have 50 plus or minus 5 times 2, this is 10 square root of 15. So this implies that y1, comma, y2, this is equal to 50 plus or minus 10 square root of 15. So we have that y1 is equal to 50 plus 10 square root of 15. And we have that y2, this is equal to 50, subtract 10 square root of 15. So we can solve for the corresponding values of x. And you know that from equation 3, x is equal to 100 minus y. We have that x is equal to 100 minus y. So we can solve for x1 here, which is equal to 100, subtract y1. y1 is 50 plus 10 square root of 15. And this implies that here we have 100 minus 50. This is equal to 50 minus times plus 10 square root of 15. This becomes minus 10 square root of 15. And this implies that we have the first set of solution here. That is x1, comma, y1. This is equal to, now we have 50 subtract 10 square root of 15 and we have that y is equal to 50 plus 10 square root of 15. So this is the first set of solution here. Let's proceed to solve x2 from here. Now we have the first set of solution which is x1, y1 which is 50 minus 10 square root of 15 and 50 plus 10 square root of 15. So let's solve for x2 which is equal to 100 subtract y2. So we have that x2 is equal to 100 minus y2. y2 in this case is 50 subtract 10 square root of 15. So here we have 100 minus 50. This is equal to 50 minus times minus 10 square root of 15. This becomes plus 10 square root of 15. And this implies that the second set of solution here, which is x2 comma y2, this is equal to 50 plus 10 square root of 15. And then we have y2 which is 50 minus 10 square root of 15. So this is the second set of solution. And the next step from here is to verify. So let's verify. Let's verify that these two sets of solution here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that x plus y, this is equal to 100. This is equation 1. We have equation 2 is x times y. This is equal to 1000. So let's verify the first set of solution here, x1, y1, by using equation 1. So here we have 50 subtract 10 square root of 15, then plus 50 plus 10 square root of 15. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. So we have minus 10 square root of 15 plus 10 square root of 15. This simplifies. 
and then we have 50 plus 50 this is equal to 100 which is equal to 100 and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side so let's check x2 comma y2 by applying equation 2 equation 2 is x times y this should give us a value of a thousand so we have 50 plus 10 square root of 15 multiplied by 50 minus 10 square root of 15 this should give us a value of 1000 so we have 50 times 50 now this is 50 times 50 then plus 50 times minus 10 square root of 15 so here we have minus 500 square root of 15 then we have plus now 10 square root of 15 times 50 so this is plus 500 square root of 15 and then we have plus 10 10 square root of 15 times minus 10 square root of 15 this is minus 100 square root of 15 times square root of 15 this is supposed to give us a value of 1000 so here we have 50 times 50 this is 2500 then minus 500 square root of 15 then plus 500 square root of 15 subtract 100 times square root of 15 multiplied by square root of 15 and all this should give us a value of 1000 now we have minus 500 square root of 15 plus 500 square root of 15 simplifies then here we have 2500 now subtract here we have 100 times square root of 15 times square root of 15 this is supposed to give us a value of 1000 so we have that square root of 15 times square root of 15 this is in the form of square root of a times square root of a which essentially is supposed to give us a value of a so here square root of 15 times square root of 15 this is supposed to give us a value of 15 so here we have 2500 minus 100 times 15 this is supposed to give us a value of 1000 so here we have 2500 minus 1500 this should give us a value of 1000 so 2500 minus 1500 this is clear that we have here 1000 and this is equal to 1000 so the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and this implies that x1 y1 satisfies the equation as well as x2 y2 satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video